You know what really sucks in an anime, and honestly in any TV show, movie, what really sucks, whenever this happens, it, it tends to ruin a show, okay? And that is an overpowered character. An overpowered character that just it has, that they just have too much power, they can almost do anything, and they seem unstoppable, right? And this is what's happening now with the Boruto manga. So recently in the Boruto manga, they introduced a new character, Ada, which is a really beautiful, hot looking chick. And, you know, if you read the chapter, you know, chapter 57 of Boruto, uh, you're immediately, you're, you're kind of amazed as the, as the, you know, of the things that she can do. Because one of the, one of the, her, her first powers that she tells us about is, that everyone is captivated by her. So people, you know, people fall in love with her, you know, when she gazes at them. Code, okay, Code, our man Code, fell in love with this chick. <laughs> well, that, tells, that tells you something. Now, apparently, um, her abilities do not work against, you know, her own people, the Osuski. So, you know, she can gaze at Naruto, Boruto, Sasuke, and they can all fall in love with her. And even women, she said, even women, you know, get captivated by her by her gaze so not even women uh can you know can resist her right and uh, you know she also has the ability to see in the past and she can look at current events in real time so that means she could be in freaking japan and there could be a war in america and she can see everything that's happening in america Almost like a surveillance camera, really. She can see anything that's happening around the world like a surveillance camera, right? Uh, but she cannot see the future, which is, a, which is, I'm glad they limited her power. Otherwise, it would have been just, oh my, just fucking boring, you know? Uh, so they did limit her power. She cannot see the future, and she cannot see what happened before the day she was born. So she, can, she only knows what happens during the, during the day she was born and, you know, in a head. Right, but I mean, this is this could hurt the, uh, the the story overall. I'm not sure how they're going to go about, you know, using her in the story. But there's so many things that she can do because she can make Boruto fall in love with her. Uh, maybe even Kawaki to bring Kawaki back on the side of the Osuki clan. <laughs> that's one of the things that that's one of the first things that came to mind. Uh, and basically nobody nobody can fight her and I, and I don't mean I don't mean because she's like physically stronger but because she she's you know she captivates every every man and woman like if anybody tries to like throw a kunai at her like they won't because you know they're just mesmerized by her her beauty or whatever because even code said yeah I've you know I I'm actually attracted to you I well, I like he, he likes her basically he confesses right in front of her so uh, no man or woman will dare to attack her, right? Because she is Ada, right? She has this power. And this power, you know, because she's an android, she was created by Amado. And only Amado has, only Amado knows how to, only Amado knows her weakness, basically. So, and that's why she kind of has this thing, this hatred towards Amado. And she also says that, she does not have the ability to fall in love, which, which is pretty interesting considering the fact that everybody gets captivated by her, by her, but she cannot. She doesn't have the ability to like fall in love, right? Uh, I know that they're probably going to use her somehow to to control Boruto or Kawaki because now at this point, uh, Sasuke has lost his Renegon. Um, Naruto has lost connection with Kurama, so he no longer has the Nine Tails mode. So the two top characters, Naruto and Sasuke, they're out of the picture. You know, they're they're too weak now. I mean, they're not weak, but they lost their you know their their superpower, that their mega power, the Renegan and the Kyuubi. They don't have that anymore, and that's gonna change the story as well because we've always kind of looked at these two characters as at the top. You know, the, the absolute best, right? Uh, so right now, in the story, the only one that can stop Ada is Amado because uh, her her people that are related to her, like the the Osuski people that are related to her, 
are not affected by her abilities. So that means only a model can do so can stop her because he's the creator, you know. The creator can destroy his own creation. But everybody else is basically <laughs> is basically fucked, right? Everybody else falls under her spell and they're basically weak against her. Uh, both men and women. So in the coming chapters, in the coming story of Boruto, we are going to see more of a model as to what is, he, what is he going to do. I'm really interesting to see how this is going to go because the fact that she can see what's happening in real time, she can see the past, she can, you know, make people fall in love with her, basically. It's going to change a lot of things in the story. And uh, I know Boruto and Kawaki, they're going to be affected by this greatly. Uh, anyways, that is all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.